everyone, I am A from Life with A, and I am doing a quick little project that I wanted to share with you. For most of us LuLaRoe consultants, or if you are just doing a flat lay in general for your Instagram, or maybe for your Facebook business page, if you're like me, you're getting up and down a lot and it can be really tiring especially if we're doing this on the floor a lot of us have a piece of laminate maybe on the floor or a vinyl backdrop but here is something really easy that you can use to basically save your neck okay so all i picked up was this handy table i grabbed this table from bed bath and beyond i used a 20 percent off coupon it made it just over 30 dollars target has them too it is an old school, uh, 36, I think it's 36, yeah, 30, whatever, 34, just shy of three feet, so 34 by 34 inch coffee table, like the type your grandparents used to play pinochle at the lake. So grab, a, grab that folding table and then you're going to stop at Lowe's or Home Depot or any sort of home improvement floor, uh, store and you're going to grab this type of vinyl material so this is a vinyl peel and stick flooring you can see right there you peel that off and it's sticky on the back there's no glue you don't need anything but it's really flexible it's really light and this is the darkest color they had so this is what we're going with uh your store might be different this was like a dollar fifty for uh, a piece so this entire project is going to cost less than 50 bucks and I'm finally going to be able to take a flat lay standing up instead of bending down all the time so I'm going to go ahead and record this while I do it and speed it up so you guys can see the final result and kind of talk a little bit while I go through so once you get your materials your vinyl this is just about three feet by it's a three foot by eight inch piece of soft peel and stick vinyl peel and stick that's the important part you don't want to click lock you don't want anything else peel and stick so then you're also going to grab permanent marker ruler and of course the box cutter that nobody trusts me with so let's go ahead and get started okay okay so what i want to make note is as we're doing this i want to show you here is the top of my table right and you guys can see my my mess so here's the top of the table. This is this is what I want you to think about while you're doing this. How do you want your table to look? How do you want your picture here to look? Do you want it to be just straight across wood all the way? Or do you want it to have kind of this layered approach? And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start out with my first piece of vinyl kind of over here on this side. I'm gonna leave it so that as I continue up, I'll stack my vinyl so that it gives really that natural wood floor look as it goes across the table. And you can see here, as I have started to lay this, you can see how I, I evened it, unevened it here, put another panel here, but then across the top, I laid this full panel. So this is the really cool effect that we're gonna start to get. So I'm gonna keep stacking this up. And tip when you're doing this, you can see each end here is really jagged. Don't worry about that. I overlaid it. You wanna overlay it on every corner, right? Because you can see this line here on my table. I wanna make sure that I can run my knife along the inside and trim all this excess off and it'll make it look really neat. Okay, so we're right here at the end. Here's this last little bit that you guys gotta see. You can see I've got about uh, four inches here, so I'm gonna have to take a plank and cut it in half, but I'm not gonna worry about that yet. What I'm gonna do is um, lay it all the way down flat and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next.
I want to show you how easy this is to cut. So I'm going to make a cut here on the end. I barely even have to press with this box cutter. Just enough to break that edge. You can see here how easy it is. And then from here, you see how that just broke? It's really soft and really pliable. So you don't have to put a whole lot of pressure into it. Okay, so here we go. Um, here is the final table. It's a little rough, still around the edges. I wanna show you. You can see an edge here. This is my clean edge. It's got that really nice gap. Um, couple things I learned uh, for sure. I would, in my opinion, be really careful about um, trimming to the edge. It made it a whole lot easier than trying to do what I originally thought, which was to try and cut this gap here. This was this gap was almost impossible to cut. You can see they got really raggedy. Um, to do this entire table cost me forty, probably like forty-two dollars, I guess, probably less than that. I used six of these planks. Um, yeah, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six planks, six planks. So you probably could get seven planks, maybe even eight if you were a little bit nervous about it. Make sure you got a really strong box cutter. Um, I'm going to put some pictures here at the end for you to take a look at, but I think it turned out super good, and I'm really happy with the height of this card table, as you can see right here. Um, it turned out really nice. It gives me just enough to uh, photograph my leggings, just enough to get high enough to actually photograph an entire outfit. Like I said, I will put pictures at the end. I hope this was helpful. And uh, if you guys end up doing your own tables, let me know. Put it in the comments below. And hopefully, if not, it sparked an idea for you. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.